It is another Wednesday on NC Trends. Welcome to your plug for the latest African social media gist. I'm your host, Shane Bankali. So we kick off in Nigeria, where the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, said on Tuesday that there is no longer a need for anyone to travel abroad to seek medical attention. He said this as a tour of Duchess International Hospital in the Ikeja area of Lagos State. He expressed the lies that the hospital was one of the projects that the federal government has supported to succeed. <laughs> he then explained that even where a project is private sector driven, the government has either provided the enabling environment or supported with funding. Mr. Minister further stated that patients were already coming in from other countries, stressing that it was a one-stop shop for comprehensive medical treatment. But not many Nigerians agree with Alajulai. See some of their comments on Instagram. Adeshala says, after Buhari finished his own eight years in London, now there is no need again because you are living off your phone. And then he went on to laugh. Yeah, he played too much. This one says, it's not Nigerians, it is Buhari, yourself, and other politicians. Do the needful in our health sector. So he says, don't talk to us, talk to Buhari. Duchess Inc. says, all these expectations with a 100 bed facility. Hmm. Interesting. Talking about the bed facility available in many Nigerian hospitals. Moving on, beauty and fashion mogul Rihanna has announced that her coveted Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin brands will be available to select African countries. The singer-songwriter released a statement via her Instagram on Tuesday with the caption, I've been waiting for this moment as Fenty Beauty and as Fenty Skin are finally dropping in Africa. So Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Namibia, Nigeria, South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe. We are coming at you on May 27th and that's just the beginning. Hashtag Fancy Africa. Now many Africans have taken to social media to express their excitement. Vicky says, Rihanna just stated that Fenty is about to drop in Africa. Yeah, that's what she says. But others in Africa have been using it for some time now. And no, they did not order it online. Then she put a strange emoji talking about how did they get it when it was not in Africa. We'll come back to that. So we took a mark about says, we are ready. We are tired of expensive shipping prices and customs. So yes, bring Fenty to Africa. We are waiting. Victor says, Africa has always been Europe's largest market. We do not produce, we only consume. Hmm. All right, veteran Hollywood actress Genevieve Naji has been in the news lately following speculations that all may not be well with her. It all started when the ace actress unfollowed everyone on Instagram and then she deleted all the pictures on her page, sparking concerns among her fans. Genevieve Naji did not state the reason for the action, but some have speculated that she is probably following the path of American singer Beyonce, who follows nobody but has 255 million followers on Instagram. Now, some other fans speculated that Genevieve might be dealing with some forms of depression based on this stubborn video she posted on Instagram a few months ago. So in an interview on Tuesday, the national president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Emeka Rola, stated that he will reach out to Genevieve amid rumors that she was suffering from a mental illness. The actress, however, made her return to Instagram earlier on Wednesday as she shared a video of herself painting on her Insta story. She's currently trending on Twitter, and here are some hot takes. Lama Mose says that this lover exposing Genevieve and Naji's situation is actually uncalled for. This blog is becoming a terrorist blog. All they want is to chase clouds and accolades for exposing people. They don't really care about mental health. Hmm. Daki says, it's funny how society is okay with people falling sick in any part of their body, but when it is with the reproductive organ of the brain, talking about mental health, they attach some level of shame to it. What Genevieve needs now is empathy, compassion, and prayers, not some funny takes on social media. And then Chineza says, there is what is called confidentiality, especially when you're working in an organization like a hospital. If it was a nurse that actually leaked the information on Genevieve, she should lose her license and be punished for such a crime. Sigh. Now that's all for tonight on NC Trends. Join us again. I'm Sean Bankley.